this short video, I just want to demonstrate how to make a disk cam <clears throat> and answer a very specific question that a student of mine had in a recent class where when they produced a cam, it was just uh, producing the, uh, it was kind of weird, it was almost like it produced a block, the cam profile, and then a groove for it to follow. So I'm going to walk you through just some basics. So inside of the cam design, uh, and I'm not a cam designer, it's been a long time since I've done one, uh, but you can set up the basic information that you want and you can uh, set up some of the motion characteristics again that my goal is not to get into the specifics of the cam but uh, just grabbing some something I saw off of a, a web post now the crucial thing when you want to actually create the shape is you want to create a component at the end and then <clears throat> when we look at these double arrows at the bottom right corner the option that you pick here seems to make a big difference so I'll just show you a couple of quick things if I say both it will generate a part and then if I look you see it's going to be the block the cam which is that inner kind of ovular shape and then you can see that a track quote unquote being previewed so I'm going to hit escape then if I do disk cam once again this time I'll do outer and hit OK and you can see what this would look like it's going to produce the block on the outside and then a path for something to follow so don't want that hit escape and then if I click on the disk cam so if you want just the cam shape try hitting the inner option hit OK click OK and then this actually should produce uh, the cam shape so I'll just stick it right here for now and now you've got your cam shape based on whatever criteria you've set up you'll also see there's a little axis here so you could use that to locate the uh, rotational axis for your particular cam design so yeah all of that should help you get the final shape that you're looking for so I hope you found this helpful and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. Otherwise, have a blessed day.